Today I'm going to show you how to put the Cuddle Snug custom gun carrying system into a Humpster. So it comes in a package like this and uh, I'll go through all the stuff that's in it. I'll set this aside. But what we have is first we have the four sides that protect the scopes when they're down in it. So we take these and we put it one in each end or in the center part of it and just stick it up underneath this lip. And we'll do the same on this side. And then we'll just press these into place by lifting them up to the top of that, centered into the, right by this rod, we'll see that there's a gap. So we wanna just center them so they're in the center of that. That gives us all our side protection from the scopes or the guns hitting into the side. The second thing that we'll put in are the, the two gun racks. And you'll notice that the gun racks have uh, two different slots. One is a little bigger than the other and the same on this one. And then they are also made for a two gun configuration is what we're gonna be showing you here today. And then another time we'll show you how to do the, uh, the one gun configuration at this deal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my, uh, how I've set this up, I'm gonna put my larger hole on the left side to start with. So we just take this and drop it in right underneath the lip, slide it into the middle slot. There's three slots. And uh, for the guns, we use the middle slot just about all the time. If you have a special gun, you could change that, but everything is set up for us to use the middle slot. And if you're not using it for guns, then you can section off different areas for different size objects that you'd put into it. So now we'll put in the other one. So I've got the larger piece, the larger hole here. I'm gonna put the smaller hole on the other side of this. So again, I just stick it underneath the lip, slide it over to its position and drop it into the Deal. So now I just push all this together. I've got my sides in and I've got my gun racks in. And then I'll come with, these are the two end pieces. So this will level up the whole floor and also give it uh, a nice look and uh, keep everything from making noise and rolling around in there. So I put that one in that end. This one has little notches. You'll see the little bumps that fits in there nice and tight. And then our last two pieces for the gun rack is these stiffeners, which will go on the back side of the gun rack. So just push those down. You'll see the, how it, uh, the size of it just fits right in and friction's down in there. So now I've basically set up my whole gun rack except for putting in where I'm gonna put in the scopes into it. So, but what I'll do is drop that in there. Everything goes in upside down. So we'll put it in so that the, the groove in the stock on the top is where it won't slide forward or it won't slide back. Now, if you have a scope that's too big, we can adjust that. Again, it's all customizable. You can take and just run this up higher, which will lift your scope up higher. Also, if you have too big of a scope, which that should never be a problem. And uh, so the way I've set it up is to have it down in the bottom groove. So that way the gun has the least ability to move back and forth. It'll fit any gun up to about 51 inches. Um, but this is a, a pretty good size gun and one that'll fit in, uh, into this product. So we drop that down the same as the other one. Our scopes are laying down. Now what I want to do is take a tape measure and I'll measure from the inside of the gun rack to the scope, which is 10 and a half inches. And on this end, I have one inch. So on this side, I have, so we'll just do one to begin with. So I've got 10 and a half and one inch. So what I'll do is take, this is my, the base for it. So I have four pieces. I have the, the floor and then I have three pieces up above. So what we want to do is to put the center piece, we'll take out the two outside pieces and we'll take the center piece and put it in. And what, what, what I've done with this, and I'll show you, um, on the back side is all we have to do is uh, I've already pre pre did the holes in it so you just take your screw put it down take your screwdriver and uh, this stuff's really tough it's expandable polyethylene which is something we've been looking for for a long time and then again you just push it in and take your screwdriver and put your center part partition in so now that's centered. If you had to move it from one side to the other for a certain gun, you can, or if you have to cut out a spot in it for a scope that would go into it, you can just take a uh, 
perforated knife and be able to just cut out any section or cut that off. So now what I want to do, I had a 10 and a half inch measurement. So I take one of these blocks and I'll measure out 10 and a half inches and I just mark it with a pen or in this case my screwdriver and just take and take your knife and cut that piece off. So um, this will go from 12 inches down to 10 and a half inches, which I'll show you an end piece would look like this. So on the back side, you can see I've screwed in all the pieces that I've cut and I've done that on both sides. So when these go together, that's what it would look like from underneath. And this is what it would look like from on top when it's down on the bottom. So you can see the cutouts that I've made for the size of the scopes that I have in. So I can adjust that to whatever size of that scope, whether it's short one or a long one, I can make it customizable to do that. So once I have these two pieces all screwed together, pretty simple, I just take out the guns. I'll lay those here and I'll drop those into the bottom. And it's, again, it's nice and friction, so you just push everything down so that it fits tight to the bottom. This piece will go in secondly and go all the way down and push it in. Now, if you don't want to put the screws in, you don't have to. Most of it will still stay in here, but it just makes it easier when you're pulling the gun out that nothing's going to move around and it'll just make it a lot easier to do it. So now if you look down on here, you'll see the cutouts for the gun uh, scopes and the guns. And all I'll do is take my two guns and put them back in here. So the Ruger is set for this side, drops right in. So now the scope is down below that level so it can't go back and forth, it can't go to the sides, it can't move anywhere except upward at this point, which we'll address shortly. So again, my other one drops into its position and we're all set to go. Now my guns are secure. Now to totally secure it, what I'll do is take my compression piece, which you'll take this metal bar and put it into the slot that keeps it from moving anywhere and keeps the keeps everything solid so it can't come in when you if you're in a in a rough situation then you just put this slot down between the metal and then we just simply close the lid on it and turn it and lock it now everything is locked into this thing it, it can't move any place can't move up can't move down can't move sideways can't move anywhere um, and really, really secures it. And then you're putting it into a waterproof, uh, dustproof, lockable container. So uh, you should be able to do anything you want with it. So in a minute, I'll show you a demonstration of uh, dropping this uh, and smashing it and showing you what the guns can do, uh, what it does to the guns at the end. So we'll see after that. Today, we're gonna do a little experiment. I showed you I put two Remington 7400s with scopes into the humpster and we are going to drop it off of the Duha roof at approximately 23 feet in the air. Let her go! There you go. Now we got to go look it up, open it up and see that everything's good in there, which I'm sure it will be. So as you can tell, our box has survived. Um, got a few scratches on it where it hit the bottom, but uh, I'll unlock this and we'll open it up. Take off our two end supports and here we go there's our guns and here's the other one perfect shape now we'll go shoot them and uh, see if they're still in uh, site and then we'll get back to you on that Today we're going to test the two guns that we dropped off the roof and see how close we get to the target and see uh, what the smashing it on it did to the scopes. First I'm going to shoot the first 7400. These are identical guns. Safe off. Alright, put the shell in. Safety off, or on. All right, no, I can't see what I hit, so I'm gonna go grab the target and bring it back here to the camera. 
So, our two shells, as you can tell, at 100 yards, I'm not exactly on the target, but pretty darn close for what the impact those guns took coming off of that roof. So, conclusion is, the Humpster and the all-terrain will store your guns and keep them safe no matter what you put them through and still shoot accurately.